What's going on guys? Welcome back to another ADX tutorial mini series within our Python Mathematics and Stock Indicators tutorial series. Where we left off, uh, we've been working on this ADX here. We got the DIs calculated now since that's a part of the directional movement system. And now we actually want to calculate the ADX line itself. So now that we have the stuff that we need for that line, we're going to go ahead and define ADX and let's do it. So uh, positive di, negative di equals calc di's. Just do it. This already calls all the functions that we need uh, within it with all the variables and all that. So that'll return this pdi's and di's. So that's going to return uh, what we want. Now, uh, just for the sake of debugging, print len uh, positive di print len uh, negative di and then finally print len date and here's what we got to do one colon why do we have to do one colon we have to do one colon because uh, very early on we were only starting with the second day's prices because we wanted to consider yesterday's so that's why now we have to be considering only date one colon. When we go to plot it, we'll have to remember that. Otherwise, X and Y won't match up. Continuing on. X, X, X. I knew we were going to hit it. Equals zero. Then D, X, S equals empty array. Uh, we just can't call. Well, let's see. Direction. Yeah, that's going to work. So this is actually the directional thing. And then when we get to the actual uh, average directional, uh, when we apply the exponential moving average, that's when we'll call it ADX. So we'll keep that for now. So while triple X is less than the length of a date, uh, one colon, so everything except for that first value, uh, DX equals... 100 times, and this this one's a little bit longer of an equation. So first, it's 100 times something, right? And within there, um, just to make we'll use spaces to make it somewhat easy to read. The first thing is the absolute value of, oops, absolute value of positive di, and that x x x variable minus the negative di x x x variable then we're going to do that divide it i just hit enter you don't have to hit enter but if you want to copy everything hit enter and it'll come down here and it'll, it'll still work out mathematically it just makes it easier to read and it keeps it on my screen divided by more parentheses <laughs> and within those positive di xxx plus negative di xxx. Done. Now let's look at what we just did. So this is what we coded in the last video. If we come to the ADX calculation, what we've just done is basically the 100 times this part here and now we just have to apply the exponential moving average to this stuff. Because really, 100 times, all that's there to do is move the decimal point, right? So that can be really applied at just about any time. Uh, it could be applied to, as long as you're applying it, you know, to any of the objects within this mathematical calculation, it's okay. Um, so anyway, that's what we've done. We've just le simply left out the 14 EMA of all of this stuff. But the 14 EMA times the 100 or the 14 EMA of this stuff times 100 is identical. So now let's go ahead and do that. So this gives us dx. And so all we really have to do at this point is um, append it. So dxs.append dx, done. xxx plus equals 1, done. Come out of that while loop, print the len of dxs, so debugging purposes, something goes wrong. adx now equals the exp moving 
average of DXS with a 14 day window. Whew. Print len ADX. Oops, didn't mean to get rid of that. Print len. We'll just do the full date now again, just since we already did print out date minus one. And we're done. So let's now, all we have to do is just call ADX to run all of this stuff. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and just come down here, call ADX. And now for the moment of truth to see if this whole uh, program has any uh, errors. Go ahead, press F5. We'll see what happens. No syntax. XX referenced. Uh, it's capital XX, so I already know what the issue is. All mine were lowercase XX. Let's try again. Okay, so what we got here is 105, 105, 105. Good. And then we printed date just to show you the full length of date is 106, but we're looking for 105, which is why we have to do day uh, one. So now. ADX print len ADX. Let's go ahead and uh, print the ADX uh, so we can actually see it. And that is without uh, outside of the while loop, so we'll just see it once. So here is our official ADX. Yeah, it fits perfectly into our window. Okay, so that's cool. We, uh, we've got that all set now. A lot of times people use 20 as like the crossover line, but as you can see, I mean, we got a lot of 20s that have happened here, but. Anyway, just keep that in mind. Um, so we've got ADX now. Looks good. We've got, uh, I guess we haven't really seen the uh, plus DI and minus DI. Uh, we could, I think, print those out though. Uh, yeah, we could print positive DI and negative DI. So we could just, I'll just print them out just, just for kicks. Print uh, positive DI, print negative DI. So they are here. It looks about right for positive and negative DI. These are kind of the, like, it, you just know that it should be within the range of maybe like a 1 to a 50 or something like that. Um, and you definitely don't want to see negatives here because it is, all of these are strength indicators. So you can't have really, I think 0 is the absolute minimum you could possibly have in any of these. Uh, so anyway, close that. We are now ready to port this over to our charting application and get it up on the graph. So uh, in the next video, that's exactly what we'll be doing. Uh, so if that sounds interesting to you guys, continue on to the next video. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for the support of the subscriptions, and until next time.